Now for this part, what we've got to do is integrate f of x with respect to x. And we discovered that f of x in the previous part was equivalent to these three individual fractions. And you'll notice I've put the constants that we found in above them. So when it comes to integrating f of x respect to x, all we've got to do is integrate each of these three terms. So we've got that this equals, and you just integrate all of those terms. I personally prefer to write an integral around each one of them and do them separately, something like this. Now when it comes to trying to integrate each of these, they have a special type. You should remember that if you're integrating a fraction where you've got, say, some function of x in the denominator, if you differentiate this, and this happens to be in the numerator, then this is the result of differentiating the natural log of some function of x. And we put this in a mod sign there. And if you happen to have a constant, let's just say a there, that constant will be written in there. So this is a very important result, one that you're quite often going to find that you'll need with integrating partial fraction types. Now if you notice with this one, if you differentiate the denominator 2x plus 1, you get 2. And you can multiply 2 with another 2, a constant, in order to get the numerator here for. So this is going to be one of these types. So all we need to do is say that this is exactly the same as 2 multiplied by 2 over 2x plus 1 with respect to x. And this one will lead in to 2 times the natural log of the mod of 2x plus 1. Now a similar thing happens with this one. When you differentiate the denominator here, you get 1. And you can see that we've got a constant at the top here. We can just think of this then as minus 3 times the integral of 1 over x plus 1. We can drag constants out the front of an integral. So that when you integrate this, this will be minus 3 multiplied by the natural log of the mod of x plus 1. And for this one, well, we don't really need to make any adjustments. If you differentiate the denominator, you get 1, and that happens to be what you've got on the top. So when it comes to integrating this one, it will just simply be the natural log of the mod of x plus 3. And then put the constant of integration plus c on the end. OK, so I hope that's given you some idea then how to go about integrating f of x with respect to x.